So good news, Monica does not have the same illness I have. Bad news, she's got strep throat. Today I went to the doctor and I have strep throat. So I'm out of commission for the next two days. So yeah, right now I'm catching up on Battlestar Galactica, did my laundry, and then I have a bunch of online classwork that I need to do. And I think my voice sounds a lot better than from earlier this morning. I think that shot, I got a shot of penicillin in my waist. It's so bruised, like sitting right now is very uncomfortable. Hello! My little cocooned for the past 17 hours of my life. Heaven. Today I would like to discuss with you a plague that has found itself among today's children, the Rainbow Loom. Now, if you guys thought Pokemon or silly bands were bad, that was one thing. The thing with the Rainbow Loom, rubber bands everywhere. I have so many rubber bands. I'm finding them in my pockets. I'm finding them in my car. I'm finding them in my desk at work. There are rubber bands everywhere. This took me an hour to make. It's it's literally just rubber bands. An hour. This is the only one I've made. The thing that blows my mind is they make hundreds of these. Like the kids, they have like 45 different types of rainbow loom. They're amazing at them. I spent hours trying to figure out how to make like one thing. Giant flowers made out of rubber bands. They have headbands, they have rings, necklaces, keychains, blink fences, like you name it, they can build it out of rubber bands. It's, uh, what? I mean, they're cool. It's getting the kids engaged in doing something that takes focus and it's getting them excited about doing a craft, which I mean, it's really awesome. So if you haven't looked it up yet, I know there are tons of videos on YouTube. I've actually stayed away from them because I'm afraid of the addiction that may come. It is what it is. See you tomorrow.